but this week I'm going to be talking about just a few different things because, um, yeah, that's me. But, uh, anyways, yeah, so I'm going to be talking about a few different things. Um, over the weekend I, um, I was really bored and I really wanted to do something. And my brother was at my grandma's and, um, so, uh, I got my parents to go to the bowling alley and game place in the city with me because I don't have friends. What what are those? I mean, I have one friend, but she was sick, and yeah. So, yeah. So anyways, I mean, I guess I have more friends than that, but I don't get to hang out with the other ones. So, yeah. Anyways, so, um, hung out with my parents, went to the game place, um, was, uh, I was wearing my panic shirt, you know, my panic at the disco shirt, and, uh, <laughs> these girls, uh, you know, they kind of, you know, I don't want to say they, like, look normal, because that's, I don't know. But, you know, they look kind of normal. And they're just like, hey, I love your shirt. I was like, thanks, you know? Like, I don't know, like, I usually don't get compliments on my shirts and stuff. Like, especially from people that look normal-ish. But then again, Panic's been, like, a very mainstream band now. So, like, it's kind of normal to get that. So, <laughs> I don't know. But, um, so that made me happy, because I don't get that very often. Um, and then, what else happened? Um, I played the big giant crane machine with the balls, you know, I always talk about that. And I won a ball out of it, and, you know, this lady was with her kids, and, uh, you know, she, she was asking me how I went on, and I, I don't really know how I went on, I'm just, like, really good at that machine. I'm good at claw machines in general, honestly. But, um... You know, I uh, gave the kids my ball because I didn't need it. I just like playing the stupid machine. And uh, yeah, so they were really happy because they really wanted a ball and I gave it to them. So that, that was good. It made a child happy. And um, let's see what else happened. Um, oh, uh, while we were bowling, they were playing like all this old music. They were playing like One Direction. Um, Miley Cyrus, like old Miley Cyrus, like party in the USA, Miley Cyrus, and um, then like all of a sudden, Kids in the Dark by All Time Low comes on, and I was just like, I was like, I'm triggered right now, I'm shook, I'm like, <laughs> I was like, Mom, do you know what song this is? She's like, no, she's like, who is this? I was like, it's All Time Low, Mother, do you not listen to me at all? <laughs> like, uh, I, I was just like, oh my gosh, I freaked out. I was just like, I like, I was singing every word. It was, I'm an embarrassment to myself when bands come on in public. Like, don't even get me started. When I'm in Hot Topic and like bands come on, I'm just like automatically singing. It's bad. Like, ah, uh, like it's, it's great. Because it makes me happy. Also, I just wanted to say, I got a snow day yesterday, but that's not what I was going to say. But, um, <laughs> so my friend is a, 21 Pilots fan, and uh, my uh, history, well, not really history, I guess econ and government teacher is too, and um, so is, you know, a guy that we, I, I kind of like my friend, I guess, he's a guy we, you know, sit with at lunch, um, he's like a huge, like, over, like, freaking obsessive fan, like, been there, like, straight up from the beginning, like, crazy, <laughs> crazy fan, but, um, Anyways, uh, like, he's, like, a stan, but anyways, uh, between him and my, my, whatever, my econ teacher and my friend, I just want to say I've been converted into a 21 Pilots fan, and I'm not, I want to say I'm happy about it, <laughs> but I'm kind of not, because at first, like, when I first heard them, I was so annoyed with their sound, and you all should know this, because I said it so many times, and now I'm just like, I kind of like them. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to lie. I, I listen to, like, at least, like, I know so many of their songs. And it's not like I go out of my way to listen to their songs. My friend plays them all the time to the point where I know the songs. Like, freaking even the rap parts. Like, granted, I don't know every word, but, like, I know, like, I, I know what song it's from. Like, <laughs> it's bad. I'm like, I'm not even a 21 Pilots fan. And like, 
I know freaking at least 15 songs by them. And I'm like, and then like, I try and not be a fan. Because this is what happens. I, I told myself I wasn't going to be a fan. So then, <laughs> then I was like, I'm not going to be a fan. So then I, you know, keep hearing all these songs. And I'm like, I'm not going to sing it. I'm not going to sing it. And then it starts getting catchy and I'm starting to sing it. And I'm like, dang it. I'm like, eh. Yeah, so that happened. Plus, my mom's freaking obsessed with Stressed Out and Ride and Heathens and, you know, all their really big songs. And yeah, yeah. And then the whole Grammy thing really took me over the top. So I was like, yeah. Because, I mean, they're from Columbus. They're Ohio boys. So, I mean, represent, dude. <laughs> okay. I mean, that, that makes me happy. They're from Ohio. No one, no one, there's like barely anyone from Ohio. So. Okay, we have, like, Andy Beersack. Like, th that's about it from our scene that I'm aware of. What, there's this other band that's from Columbus. Maybe not from Columbus. From Ohio. I can't remember what their name is. But it's, like, it's there. Like, I know them. Because they talk about them on the local radio station all the time. They're pretty big in the scene. Anyways, I'm going to go. Sorry for talking all the time. I <laughs> love you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.